Hello and welcome to another episode of Effortless Landscapes with me, Antonio Cabrero, a landscape lover and watercolor enthusiast just like you. Today we're going to be talking about the one technique that makes watercolor so special, wet on wet. Wet on wet is, as the name implies, you're painting wet on wet. <laughs> so that means that if your paper is already wet, like I'm doing, I'm just getting a little bit wet you don't see anything of course because it's clear water if I grab a little bit of pigment and I put it down you can see some blooms this is what makes watercolor so special you see how like the pigments keep moving even though I'm not touching it and that is what makes watercolor so so unique and of course, you can do this as well with clear water. If I was to touch this, you get these the infamous cauliflowers, as they call them, because the water pushes back the, the pigment, as you can see. Boop. Now, what is this technique useful for? Well, I personally use it a lot for creating soft edges for for example if i was if i was making a an, a sky which if you're a landscape painter you probably will be making a sky a lot of the times so you get your paper wet and grab some of the pigment a little bit thicker which we'll be talking about that in another video the, the timing, when, when should you start painting, but when you go in and just put a little bit here and there, this might not come out very nice because I'm not sure what I'm painting or how I'm painting it, but as you can see how soft the edges are around these clouds, I'm, I'm painting around them and that's called negative painting which is also going to be some other video that I'll be making in the future. So as you can see, wet on wet painting helps you to create these soft edges. Now, another reason why you want to do wet on wet would be to create gradients. And that will also be another video. Let me know in the comments if that's what you want to see. So. This is not going to be great. I'm just rushing through it. So there we're pushing this down to create a gradient. And now I'm going to grab another color. Yellow in this instance. I'm hoping I'm not blocking and I'm going to pull it up. And then you're going to see that because this is still wet and this is also wet, it's, it's just as wet as this, the colors are able to blend together. The wet on wet technique is very simple. The wet on wet technique is very simple, but very tricky at the same time. It will take months, if not years to master. And as you can see, I actually dropped a small drop of water there. Let's just accentuate it so you guys see what happens when you put a drop of water into still wet paper or sorry pig, pigments that is what it's called a cauliflower anyway this is what is wet on wet painting when your the surface of the of the paper is still wet and then you go in with more uh, paint while it's still wet that's gonna do it for this video guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video and you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you wanna be part of a community of landscape lovers and watercolor enthusiasts just like you that are helping each other to learn this medium, then please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.